At this point in the story, the medical doctor who wrote the Gospel of Luke includes a traumatizing detail. As Jesus prayed, he sweat drops of blood. But what does that mean? Cesar Fletus was born in Paraguay and serves as a guide at Jerusalem's garden tomb. It was an excruciating stress. He experienced a physical pain. The brokenness he was experiencing in his heart was transpired into the external expression in his body that he was sweating blood. Nazar Tuma is a born-again Arab who pastors a church in Nazareth. He suggests that the drops of blood were the direct result of the pain that Jesus was feeling. The pain is more emotional in Jesus because he could see the picture, the large picture. He could see the bigger picture than others would see because he, he could see the cross. He could see the trial. He could see the betrayal of his disciples. And we always think of Judas, but we all know that everybody flee. No one stayed there. Even Peter, when he was following him, he was still following him from a distance. And uh, that was more painful to Jesus. I think when we are in pain, we would want someone to stand and encourage us. And if you look around you and you are alone, that's very painful. And Jesus went through all of that alone. And I think this was his physical pain. Once again, Dr. Charlie Dyer. I think there's several things that tell us Jesus' emotional needs that evening. The drops of blood. First blood ever shed uh, wasn't the blood on Calvary. It was actually the blood shed by Jesus in the emotional impact time of praying, knowing what's coming ahead. Uh, it's Jesus uh, asking his disciples to surround him in prayer, uh, knowing that any help that he can get going before the Father would be needed and appreciated. Uh, we learn a lot about Jesus' emotional stress at that time. Think about it. You've been a perfect communion, perfect fellowship with God the Father forever. Uh, you've never known sin in your life, and you're about to be separated from the Father and have all the sin of the world placed on you. Uh, that's what Jesus was struggling with emotionally at that time, and he wanted the disciples to support him during that time in his humanity. But the ultimate source of those drops of blood that Christ sweat was likely more spiritual in nature. Now, his spiritual pain would be because of his innocence, because he is righteous, because he didn't commit any sin, because he didn't commit any injustice. All of that together would make him think of you and me, because if he's going to go all the way, he's going to go f for us. He's going to do it for us. He emptied himself. Pastor Menno Kalischer underscores that extreme stress creates extreme conditions in the human body well attested to on the battlefield and other life arenas. I know that in a times of big distress, the body behaves in a way that you would not dream. Um, again, nothing compared of my life to the moment of Jesus before death. But when you hear soldiers coming from the battlefields in situations where they see death in front of their eyes, in situations where it's or you or him, in a split of a second, you need to shoot. Or you know that or death or jump 10 meters or do things that on a regular life you will never dream to do. When we speak about fear, go to speak with people who came from the Holocaust. Go to speak to people that have seen the death in their eyes and They'll speak about sweat and smells you and I have met only in movies and in books. We never tasted it or experienced it. But the biblical account of Christ sweating drops of blood also has a factual bearing in medical accounts. Dr. Walt McCord is an assistant professor in the Moody Theological Seminary. There's a great journal of the American Association of Medicine, a JAMA journal article on the physical death of Jesus Christ. And in that, um, they talk about what exactly happened, all the different pieces, what happened at crucifixion. And they talk about a, um, a condition that happens that literally there's, there are times when you can be so stressed that the capillaries begin to burst under the skin. And then that blood that's just subcutaneously begins to seep out through your sweat pores. And so I see this as literal. I, I, these... 
this journal article that was done by a doctor and a pathologist as they talked through what happened. They believe, and I would too, that, that Jesus literally, um, under the pressure of that moment, maybe more pressure than any man has ever faced, physically, of course, but more than that spiritually. I, I can't even begin to imagine that God the Son, who in all eternity had been joined with the Father, knew that he was about to be, um, as it were, have the back of the Father turned to him as God laid on Jesus, the sin of us all. And because of that, the Godhead that has something that had never happened, communion and fellowship was broken. As Jesus knows that's coming, what kind of agony is that? I can only begin to voice it, cannot begin to imagine what that involved. The truth is, we will never be able to fully grasp the agony Walt McCord reminded us of, the ultimate despair that Christ experienced alone in the garden. Again, Menno Kalischer. We are human beings, sinners. He is absolutely pure. Sin have never entered into him. Knew no sin. Understood perfectly what it means to drink the wrath of God. We have a small pin in the finger and we shout, oh, we suffer. Come on, it's a big joke. The person took the coldness of God. The one who knew love, the one who didn't know anything else. The face of God was away from him. He carried the wrath of God. And it's something that we will never, ever be able to paint in the full pictures. Never, ever. So there he was, the God-man, sweating drops of blood at Gethsemane. And when you think about it, it almost makes sense. When he tastes the real wrath of God, the real suffer, the real results, the real death, in all its colors upon himself, knowingly, inch by inch, millimeter by millimeter, second by second. That's why when he said he sweat like blood, that shows how much his body was so much involved in it, how much he suffered for you and me. 